Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Dan LaMarina. And one of the key things that people are thinking more about in the software space is now that I'm deploying apps, uh, both on-premise, in the cloud, sometimes going back and forth, how do I secure them? Yeah, no doubt. I, I think the way people always did applications and the way they secured them was, hey, it was running in my data center, I put firewalls in, I put proxy, I have network security, and you know, inside that perimeter, the applications would be safe. Um, now that you know everyone's launching a million apps and you're seeing them on devices and they're running in the cloud, you know people have to think about it a little differently. And uh, you know the way we're thinking about it is you actually have to understand what's happening inside the application and actually deliver security wherever the application goes. So, so what are kind of the uh, key um, things that people need to think about in that in that kind of a space? Sure, I, and I think the way what people have always traditionally done security for applications is I'm going to secure the code. So uh, you know, I still think the, the best way to secure your apps is to review the code, do static and dynamic testing, make sure there's a constant you know, process of fixing and remediating. Um, but in, when you can't do that, and maybe for legacy apps or for applications that have a finite life, lifespan, um, one of the things we're looking at are tools that help you actually protect the apps themselves and are watching and monitoring user behavior and the way it's interacting. Now, one of the things that I, I feel like is kind of a, a fallacy is people inherently assume that the cloud, having an app running in a, in a cloud environment yeah. is less secure. Is that, is that truly a fallacy? Well, I think it depends on where it's running and you know what control you have. I, I think, again, if you thought security control should only be in the infrastructure, if it's running somewhere else and you can't own that infrastructure, you, you really can't monitor it, you can't really see what's going on. Um, and, and that's the reason why we developed this product application defender that really helps you have visibility into who's logging in, what they're doing there. It's looking for, I think, 17 or 18 critical security events that may be happening, and, and gives you back that detail so that you can do something about it. And, and is that the, purely a monitoring tool, or does it actually allow you to take some action as well? Well, we see a lot of customers who actually want to run it in a monitoring mode because they don't want to actually shut users out. Um, but we also do have active controls in there. So if you see someone doing a SQL injection, you can block their access to the application. And so those are the kind of things that you know, we think are really interesting is when you, you have not only the, the monitoring and governance, but then also uh, you know, protection that, that actually uh, you know, stops the bad guys in their tracks. Now, are there, are there any things about using a, a solution like that that actually makes it more difficult for users? Or, or is it <laughs> something that is reasonably invisible so that your users still get a great experience? Yeah, and I, I think that's the biggest challenge with any security tools. You want to make it feel like it's business as usual, no impact on performance, and, and really operating as they'd like to. Um, you know, we've, we've taken really great care to make sure there's a very minimal impact on performance. And you know, it's really up to the, the users of the security to determine what kind of policies they put in place and what kind of things they're going to monitor and which things they're going to block. And so you have a lot of granular control on that. All right, well, is there anything else you want people to know about Application Defender or just uh, HP Enterprise Security in general? Well, you know, if they want to actually try Application Defender out, there's a free trial right now, and it, you get the full uh, capabilities of the product. You get to try it on one app, and you just have to go to hp.com. Uh, I'm going to blow the URL, but I think it's hp.com, hp.com slash go slash Application Defender. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll look that up and uh, put it in the link right the, here. It's yeah. going to be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, thank you, Jake. Thanks, Dan.